Hello, my name is Ron Samuels, and I'm from Marimba One. And I would thank, would like to thank all of you for joining us for our live virtual 2020 PASIC event. And we build everything right here in this facility here in Arcata, California. Arcata is located about 300 miles north in San Francisco, right on the coastline where the giant, beautiful, ancient redwood trees come all the way down to the ocean. And I'd just like to talk to you a little bit about all that we do here. What we have is Marimba One designs and builds five different series of instruments. Our educational series, our waves, our Izzy's, our 3100's, and our soloist series. And our newest series, our educational series, is right here before us. I would like to start showing you this instrument. And this is a three octave. This is a three octave Paduke marimba. And what's really great about this is the bars on this marimba are our full concert size bars. So when you or your students move up to a larger marimba, you'll already have your sticking down for full concert size bars. Another great thing about this instrument is that the paduke we're using is super hard. So with normal plane and mallets, you're not gonna pit or dent this wood. It's very, very hard wood. And it's voiced from top to bottom. So as you play up and down the instrument, it's gonna sound very even and, every, very even and balanced. And it's tuned by the exact same team of people who tune all our concert marimbas here in Arcata. The next marimba I'd like to show you is our four and one third Paduke educational marimba. And this marimba, I'll play a little bit for you. This marimba also has our full concert size bars, the super hard Paduke, and also it's expertly voiced. So as you play up and down the keyboard, it's as if you're playing from one piece of wood. And also it has our full concert size resonators. And Sometimes you'll find on educational marimbas, the resonators are smaller, the keys are narrower and shorter, and because of that, you get a smaller sound. So what I want to do, I want everybody to have as full and big a sound as possible, and also just normal bars, and that's what this is here. You can also have us make this for you with an enhanced level keyboard, and that's the really exceptional, uh, amazing Paduke. And we've been really, really happy with the sound of the Paduke. It sounds, to me, very warm and resonant, and it's a great wood for, uh, for marimbas. We also design and build all our hardware here on these instruments, and something that's really important on this instrument is that you can see this little rubber end cap on the end. It's a squishy rubber so that when you're playing, it absorbs the sound impacts. So you don't hear transfer of sound from the frame into the floor. Um, and so it keeps everything very quiet. Also, this instrument has our Izzy height adjustment system. All you do is just flip this open here, and go up, and then go down, and just lock it in with these little levers here. And we always laser engrave tape measures into the in-frame so you know the height. Our next educational marimba is our rosewood. And this instrument here has identical size bars as the Paduke one, which are our full concert size bars also the full concert size resonators, and this is our traditionally voiced rosewood keyboard. And it's a full on, it's a full on really beautiful sounding concert level keyboard on educational instruments. So if you're looking for that full grade sound, this is really the way to go. And the exceptional, super exceptional rosewood is our enhanced level keyboard, which we could also put on this instrument as well. And it's super durable and rigid, like two people can be on both sides, it'll always and try to rack it back and forth, it'll always stay perfectly vertical, there's no rattles, there's no buzzes, and it's also really lightweight. So the Rosewood Marimba is 154 pounds, I'll lift it up here, and the Paduke is 142 pounds, so really pretty lightweight for educational instruments. We have another Marimba that we're introducing in our educational line, and that is our five octave Paduke Educational Practice Marimba. And that marimba is built off this exact same frame here. That is our full concert size keyboard out of Paduke. And I'll be introducing that soon to you. And now I'm gonna talk about our whole wave series. And our wave series is our largest series of instruments. It includes xylophones, four octave, three and a half octave xylophones, vibraphones, and marimbas, both four and one third octave and five octave marimbas. So let's start here on the wave xylophones. And 
right here is a front ensemble frame. And the reason you can tell it's a front ensemble frame is because it has the big burly eight inch wheels and also the accessory bar that's attached with our innovative wave lock system. The accessory bar is really great because you could mount all sorts of gear on it, cymbals, snare drums, whatever you like. And the Wave Series, these wheels are so burly you can roll them over gravel, concrete, brick, dirt, mud, anything at all. So you could basically take this from the concert stage out to the gymnasium, to the field for front ensemble use. And the Wave Series has also its sibling right here, which is the concert series of the Wave Series. And the way you can tell that one is it has the four inch wheels here. And this is Identical, it has identical acoustics to the two instruments, essentially the same resonators and the same keyboard, but just a different frame system. And on this particular xylophone here, you can see that we use the same construction techniques where we have the squishy rubber here so that when you're playing, you, you're not gonna transfer any sound into the floor. And a really cool feature of this instrument uh, and that's from the Deegan 870s and 872s, is that we actually curve, we curve this rail here. And you can see the arc of the bars. It's in, a, it's in about a 20 foot radius. And to do that, we had to curve this, this rail here. And what that does is, as it curves out, these base bars become longer and they become more resonant. That was really, I believe, what Deegan's aim was. And, uh, and so by having these longer bars, you just get a warmer, more resonant sound. And this particular rosewood is rosewood that I found in Belize in 2012 when I was on a rosewood buying trip. And it is so hard that with normal mallets and playing technique, you're never gonna pit or dent this wood. It is extremely hard wood and has an unusual brilliance to it. I love this wood. And we build these instruments all the xylophones out of traditional, out of enhanced or premium level keyboards. Another thing we did, because we, we love engineering these instruments. For us, that's a lot of the fun inside the shop here. And so you probably observed on instruments where sometimes the resonators are not centered under the bars correctly, either this way or this way. So <clears throat> with, with, these, with the curved rail here, what we did is we had to actually curve the resonators so the resonators are in an arc as well. So they're all centered directly under the center of the bar. And the whole reason for doing that is so that we could optimize the sound and give you as much sound out of the instrument as possible. And all these instruments also have our Izzy height adjustment system. You can see here the tape measures that are laser engraved into the end frame. And the inside of the frame is internally counterbalanced. So when you raise it and lower it, you never feel the weight of the frame and the bars. It's really pretty effortless. Another really great feature too, is that you can see this block of, this block of rubber here. The resonators sit in this right here. And it's, it's a squishy rubber material. And again, the same idea that when you're playing, you're not gonna be transferring any sound from the frame into the, sound, into the floor. So front ensemble xylophone and concert xylophone. We also build these in, in three and a half octaves. Now I'm gonna move over to our vibraphones. And here we have a front ensemble vibraphone and a concert vibraphone. Everybody knows these as our one vibes. And we use the same burly wheels here so that you can roll them over anything, brick, gravel, mud, grass, anything at all. And the whole idea with, with the Wave series is that you could have these instruments on a stage in a performance setting and they look great and then roll it out to, to the gymnasium or field and then roll them right back because they're super durable, they'll never develop side to side sway and they look great and that's the whole point. So you could stretch your budget so if you're looking for instruments for both concert use and front ensemble use, this is a really great solution. And again, here's the accessory bar, you know, for snare drum, cymbals, all sorts of things. And a cool thing on our, on the vibraphones here, see, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on here. So the fans are spinning right now, and when you turn, when you turn it off, the fans always stop at the 12 o'clock vertical position. Uh, some other really great features on the Wave vibraphone are that to minimize any noise transfer from the motor into the fan system, we invented what we call the magnetic drive. And what that is, is there's 
there's no mechanical connection between the motor and the fans. And you can look right down here and there's a gap in there and we use rare earth magnets. And what's happening is the rare earth magnets line up and they pull the whole fan system, they spin it around. So there's no mechanical connection. And what's really great about that, when you go to take the vibraphone apart, you never have to undo the belt. So the belt always stays here. You just lift the resonators out when you want to assemble it, put them back in, and the fans always correctly stop at the 12 o'clock position. Also on our vibraphones, as on all our instruments, we'll tune to A440, A442, and A443. We'll build these with and without motors. Also, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you could have gold or silver bars, and they're all height adjustable, again, with their easy height adjustment system. Another feature that I believe is super important is that the bars always damp at the same moment. So you've all experienced vibraphones where... You've all, all experienced vibraphones where some bars dampen well, others not so well up and down the keyboard. And what that indicates is that the underside of the bars is not flat. That's really what it means. And also that the piece of material that the felt is mounted on is also not flat. So when we engineered the one vibe, what we did is we made sure that the undersides of the bars are a total dead flat plane, as is the material that the felt is, push is attached to. So what that means, when you're damping, everything damps equally. We also put another feature on the damper bar. We thought it would be really great for musicians, and a lot of people very much appreciate this, is that you could pivot the damper bar like this. So for example, if you want the bass end to ring out more, what you do is, if you see this little silver post here, I'm gonna make the silver post go down. And so it's dropping down now and it's connected to this arm here that supports the damper pad. So I'm dropping it down and essentially, you can hear it's starting to ring out more, but it's totally damping up top. Or, and that'd be, perhaps for a jazz piece you're playing. And so if you're comping in your left hand and you want it to ring out more, you could do that. Or you could see the, the silver post raising up right now. I'm applying more pressure here and it's pivoting in the middle. And so you can control basically the ring time of the, of the bass end relative to the treble into the instrument. Also on our concert vibraphone, we have all these same features. Uh, everything that I described here, the only difference, the only difference whatsoever on these is in the frame system itself. You still have the magnetic drive, the really great damping system, the pivoting dampening system, bar color, frequency, everything. So the next set of instruments I'd like to talk about here are, are the wave marimbas. And, and here we have a four and one third octave concert wave marimba, and this marimba, this marimba has our, our wave frame, it has our easy height adjustment system, and the wave frame, as on all the wave frames, the, the frame is constructed out of very, very sturdy, heavy wall, yet lightweight aluminum. And all the pieces here, we design ourselves here. Um, this curved piece here, we did that just so it looks really great. and. Again, the hardware here, so where the rails sit in into the frame, there's this rubber, rubberized cap piece here, the squishy rubber, so when you set it in, when you're playing, you're not gonna be transferring sound from the instrument into the floor. And as we have on our other wave instruments, this block, this, hev this heavy, thick block of rubberized uh, material here that the resonators sit in, and so that when you're playing, you're not gonna be transferring sound from the instrument into the floor. It has our easy height adjustment system. These are our full concert size bars and we offer traditional, enhanced, and premium. I'll go into those a little bit more in a few minutes. And the resonators are our full concert size resonators. On the, on the front ensemble wave that we have here, you can see that, you can see that we have the accessory bar on it with the eight inch wheels. And just to give you a quick little demonstration here, when you want to remove the accessory bar, we have the wave lock system here. So all you do is you just flip it open like this, lift up, and it comes out, and you drop it right in. And we designed all this up here, and what I really like about this is that 
There's, you don't need any tools. You don't have a pocket full of nuts and bolts or any weird hardware. It's all completely self-contained. So if you're in a concert setting and, and you don't want this on there, you just simply take it off, set it aside, and when you want to put it back on, it takes literally seconds to attach on. We also use the wave lock system down here as well for this, this diagonal brace here. So I'm going to flip it open here and it just pops right up. And so we carry this hardware through on the instrument. And it's super sturdy. And this, this instrument, at a running start, you could run into a wall. You might damage the paint, but the instrument will keep working. Also has our easy height adjustment system. And like all their instruments, you can choose traditional, enhanced, and premium level keyboards, and also classic and Basso Bravo resonators. The last, the last wave instrument I'm going to show you is the Wave 5 octave concert marimba. And this one has many of the same features as the front ensemble, except that it does not have the accessory bar and it has the four inch wheels instead of the eight inch wheels. But everything else is the same on it in that the acoustics of it are the same, traditional enhanced premium keyboard, classic or basso bravo resonators, the sound isolation techniques that we utilize, for example here, these are all the same. And then the Wave Lock hardware on the frame is all the same. And so thank you so much for watching all this. The next series I'm going to discuss are the Izzy series, the 3100, and our solo series. And the Izzy, which is right before me right now, is a marimba that we introduced at PASIC 2014. And Izzy happens to be named after my son, who some of you have probably met at PASIC. And Izzy is one of the tuners here at Marimba One. And it was the Izzy series where we introduced the Izzy height adjustment system. I'll show it to you really quick here. So you can see the laser engraved tape measures. You just flip open these two little cam levers and it's internally counterbalanced. So it goes up and down, it's super easy to do. And you're ready to lock it into your height. You just simply push these over and you are there. And I thought I'd point out, check out this amazing wood here. This is called ribbon grain. Uh, this is ribbon grain mahogany and super beautiful piece of wood. We're always really pick, picky about our frame wood as well. Uh, this marimba has uh, an all mahogany frame and along with the Izzy, we introduced the Izzy rails. And these rails here are black powder coated aluminum with a strip of wood in the middle. And again, we have the squishy rubber pieces on the ends here so that when you're playing, you're not gonna transfer sound into the ground. And if you wanna get our original all wood rails, here they are right here. You can see here, these are made entirely of wood and these will fit exactly where the Izzy's are right now. We'll build it however you like. And we also have cherry frame wood, if you prefer that over the, uh, the mahogany. And on the Izzy marimbas, we, we build them either traditional, enhanced, premium keyboards. And for the resonators, we have classic and basso bravo. And just a little bit talking about rosewood, is I believe we're the only company that goes into Central America and finds all their own wood. And I started doing this around 2008. And the reason is because I didn't want to be competing with other instrument companies for the same wood. And what we do is we'll order a whole bunch of wood and I'll fly down with a couple of my tuners and we individually inspect each piece of wood. And the reason for that is is to have a tuner's eyes on the, on the wood, on the grain of the wood. Because after you tune a lot of bars, you start being able to recognize just how you want the piece of wood to look so it'll sound best. So we individually inspect each piece of wood that we bring back to the States. And then when we go to tune the wood, I've never given anybody any sort of time frame on tuning a, a bar ever. And I've always, the requirement I've given is make it sound as musical as possible. And the analogy that always comes to mind for me is if you're trying to cook a really great dinner, you go to the store and you buy all the best ingredients you could possibly find and you're cooking your dinner and you burn the dinner. So even if you start with really great rosewood, you could still have a poor sounding marimba or marimba bar. So here at Marimba One, there is never any time pressure on tuning these bars and the whole idea the whole goal of the tuner is to get that piece of wood to relax. And when it relaxes, that's when it'll ring the most, it'll be most open and have the strongest fundamental. And that's our entire goal. And so on, on the wood here, I'll play a few notes. So 
Based, based on that standard, we have our traditional enhanced and premium level keyboards. And I really believe with all my heart that our traditional level is a clear step above anything you'll find anywhere else in the world. It's a really open, it's a warm, it's a dark sound, fully concert worthy instrument. The next level up is our enhanced level keyboard and that's a big step up. You'll hear the difference. It has greater resonance, even stronger fundamental and much bigger projection. And the enhanced keyboard, another way to think of it is that it has more headroom dynamically. It's, it's really, really hard to overplay an enhanced keyboard because there's the top end of the instrument, the amount of sound it could put out is really, really terrific. And we have our premium level keyboard and that is what I consider a super grade of, of Rosewood. And roughly 3% of all the wood we get is of the premium level quality. And what it's like playing a premium level keyboard is that you strike the bar and it just gives and gives and gives with very little effort. They're, they're just very, very beautiful. And so I'd like to switch next over to the 3100 series. And the 3100 series we introduced also at PASIC in 2014. And it has a different height adjustment. This height adjustment is you have a rosewood handle here and you spin one direction and it lowers the entire frame. You spin it the other direction and the frame goes up. And on the 3100 series, this frame has more wood on it than the Izzy. It's a little heavier built. And you can also have the Izzy rails, like I showed you on the Izzy marimba there, which are the black powder coated aluminum with the uh, wood strip in here, or else the all wood rail, it's your choice. We can make this out of cherry or mahogany. Also for the resonators, uh, black is our standard color, and you could also have burgundy or gold or aged copper, it's your choice, whatever you like. And again, the uh, resonators, traditional, or excuse me, the resonators could be classic or basso bravo, and the keyboards, traditional, enhanced, and premium. And, and the whole idea is that it's only the frames that are different on our instruments. So you can exchange the keyboards, mix and match them on different instruments. So the acoustics, the sound is gonna be the same. It's just how you want the frame to function. The last instrument in the series I'm gonna show you is, is our soloist series. And this is my absolute favorite marimba. This is my own marimba. And this particular wood is called Ziracote. And it's some wood that I found when I was in Belize on a rosewood trip. So I brought it back with the rosewood and it's super beautiful. Check out this amazing grain on this wood. And uh, so this is our soloist frame. And what we'll do in the soloist frames, we'll build these whatever height you want. So I built this, I believe to 35 inches from the floor to the top of the natural bars. And what's even more amazing about this particular instrument is check out this rosewood on the keyboard here. And this rosewood, it was named by our, our head tuner, Brian. He calls it bubble wood. And the reason is because you can see, it almost looks like there's little bubbles in, inside the wood. And we would very, very occasionally come across wood like this. And we just thought it was so beautiful when we were in Central America. So we shipped it back with our other rosewood. And when we started tuning it, we started experimenting. We realized it had just extraordinarily tone qualities. So I'll play some for you. And this wood, the, the bubble wood, is generally all premium grade, and it's, uh, it's just terrific, terrific quality wood, and it looks so extraordinary. Even though it doesn't look so much like Honduras rosewood, like we're all used to seeing, it is. And just a brief little aside, Honduras rosewood does not grow in Honduras, and uh, it was originally named Honduran rosewood when Belize was British Honduras, and then, uh, and then became Belize. So that's sort of the story behind the name Honduran Rosewood. Uh, so here are our uh, soloist marimba. Again, we can make that out of cherry or mahogany. If you have other requests, you just let me know. And I just want to let you know that, uh, thinking of Basso Bravo, the reason I love Basso Bravo so much is that when I started building marimbas, I, did, I had that sound in my head of this really dark, warm bass sound. And, uh, and finally, in 2008, we, we figured that out. And what Basso Bravo does, it's, we're literally turning the volume up on the fundamental and turning it down on the overtones. So we, we learned how to engineer the bass resonators like a graphic equalizer. And, and just to give you that super warm, dark, beautiful sound. Uh, I also like to share with you that we have cases 
really great quality cases for our soloist, for our 3100s, for our Izzy's, and for our vibraphones. Thank you. Uh, that wraps up my discussion of most of our instruments. We are going to have a live Facebook discussion about our new five octave educational marimba. Look forward to showing that to you. And as always, if you have more questions about Marimba One, you could check us out on our website. You could email us or call us. I'd be happy to talk with you. And thank you again.